Aloha. This is a special edition of Think Tech Tech Talks, and I'm your host, Karaman Lee, today, who just came back from the 2017 NAB show with our special guest, Jay Fidel. Hi, Carol. <laughs> I'm so glad we're doing this. We have to get it, you know, out there. We have to report on what happened at the NAB show. Exactly, and we uh, were there all weekend, and we just got back yesterday. So tell us a little bit about the 2017 NAB show. What does NAB stand for? National Association of Broadcasters, which is a huge organization uh, of thousands, of tens of thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of members. It's not cheap to belong, by the way. And uh, we don't belong yet, but we will one day. <laughs> And it in involved people from all over the world, uh, the, all languages. It was like um, it was like the United Nations. It was amazing. People came from everywhere, and you and I, you know, we'd strike up a conversation with somebody. You, you hardly knew where he was going to be from. How about Uruguay? Uruguay. How about that? <laughs> so where this was in Las Vegas, and uh, where in Las Vegas was this? Uh, at the convention center, which is a huge facility, and it, it really makes you feel that we here in Hawaii need a facility more like that one than the one we have right now. Well, okay, how big is this co the Las Vegas convention center? Well, uh, the, the total size, I think the total convention center was dedicated to this show because this is one of the biggest they have. This is a huge amount of people come, and a huge amount of money is involved. So a million square feet and more went a to this conference. Feet. A million square feet. A million square feet. And the number of people who came was uh, something about 103,434, give or take a few. I remember things like that. Right. And last year was 104,000, so maybe they're slipping already. Oh, and we were there last year. <laughs> we were there last year, same time and station. And let's see, 161 countries were represented. There were 1,800 exhibitors, and they were mm, really important. And we saw, we probably saw mm, maybe 18 of them. <laughs> <laughs> We walked by hundreds of them. We walked by though. hundreds, thousands walked of by. them. Exactly. It's the kind of place where you need a compass. Actually, so you yeah. lose direction. Yeah, you could use a scooter, too, just <laughs> yeah, really? to get around. And it's a, in three huge halls, South Hall, Central Hall, and the North Hall. Yeah. And, and, and they seem to be divided up, right, the locations of the different yeah. exhibits? Yeah. They didn't say that it was divided up, but you get the impression that the South Hall, which is like, I think, the biggest one of all of them, was where the big capital was, the big, big companies, um, you know, the networks, uh, the, the, the name brands you've heard of before. The Central Hall was maybe not that big, and then the, uh, the North Hall, um, that was for the smaller companies, the startups, and by the way, there are a lot of Chinese companies there. There are a lot of companies from everywhere, you know, like France had a whole section, Germany had a whole section, some of the South American countries had whole sections. Um, Asia you know, was very highly represented. Highly Korea, represented. Japan, yeah. of course, China. Yeah, and right. how did you like, we didn't see this last year, but this year it was noticeable. You know how the Japanese, when they travel, they go in, in groups? Well, they were going in groups this time too, and a little flag, and everybody follows the guy, and the guy is um, translating for them, and uh, they they they're not necessarily speaking English, but they're learning everything on the floor. And actually, most of those groups were Chinese, actually. I, I Chinese, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. 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 Well, let's talk about some of the big vendors, and one of them who actually was in Central Hall, and that's actually he was actually the biggest. Uh, exhibitor there was the Sony. Yeah, yeah. 20,000 square feet of space. 20,000 Imagine feet. how much space that is. That's like the footprint of this whole building just for one exhibitor. You can imagine how much money they spend. And by the way, decorating these, these exhibits is very expensive business. We know that from what happens here at the Convention Center in Hawaii. So to make 20,000 feet of, of uh, exhibition space is a real, real project. And it was beautiful. Sony was beautiful. You walk in there, and we were, you know, we were shown around by uh, Topher Schlund, whose office is right across the street in, uh, in uh, what do you call it, Merchant um, uh, Harbor Court, right across the street. And uh, he shows us every year, he shows us around, he shows us new at Sony, which is one of the biggest names in the show, really. So where were some of the new pieces of uh, well, equipment that you were so impressed uh, with? Well, you walk in and there's this big screen, you know, the LED screen, it's probably, I don't know, 50, 75 feet wide, huge. And so, you know, just, and all these people were standing around just looking at the screen. That was, that was the phenomenal thing about the Sony exhibit. So I said to him, you know, Topher, how much one of these things cost? Maybe put it here in Think Tech, right behind us. What do you say? He said, well, that's that, not big enough. That <laughs> would cost you, you know, a million dollars, a million dollars for a television. 
Uh, now, if you had you know, no limits on your spending, that's probably what you would do. But there were others. They weren't the only one. So you know, what you see is you see technology that is you know, on the leadership edge by companies like Sony, and then you see companies all over the world trying to emulate that technology. So we found another screen by a company called Ledman, L-E-D-M-A-N, that's out of L-E-D, right? <clears throat> and that was half a million dollars. But that was from which country? That was from China. Yeah. It doesn't take them long no, to figure right. it out, yeah. So what, are, what other products did Sony have that you were impressed by? Oh, they had a, a switcher, uh, such as we have TriCaster, about that big, what am I saying, about a foot wide with a four camera switcher that was really, uh, just came out. I uh, got to give them credit for that. They got all kinds of new wireless mics and sound equipment that will test your sound real time. Um, a lot of new cameras. Um, a, lot of, um, a lot of new ideas, too, but I thought. One of them was their cloud service, right? Uh, yeah, and we're interested in that. Uh, you know, uh, we uh, archive on AWS, that's Amazon uh, services, uh, wi wireless, I guess, uh, services. And um, they have a front end for wireless services. It makes it a lot easier than Amazon does. And it's not expensive, at least what we would consider. So, you know, you can, you can not only archive there, but you can use it as a temporary storage facility and bring down stuff you want to broadcast. This means this puts you in with the big boys uh, to be able to do that. And so uh, they're offering a product I think that's very useful for anybody in the broadcast, broadcast community and for us included. And that's a new idea. They just and so that would be competitive out. with Amazon and you think in the future we would consider? Well, it's, uh, it's, it, it uses Amazon. Mm -hmm. it, it wraps around Amazon. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, part of those 1,800 exhibitors, and we saw some of these last year, are software companies. And the software companies are broadcast software. You know, so, for example, you listen to a radio show, um, the radio, radio host has, has got all these things lined up, from ads to news spots to music. It's all on the screen in front of him, and he can jump around. And the same thing with video. And there's a lot of software vendors that, that do that and, and create software to allow you to broadcast effortlessly. I mean, the thing is, there's so much innovation going on about this that it's, it's mind-boggling. and Everybody's in on the act. They come from all sides. So it's not just the cameras and the, uh, what the lot of, lot of drones, a lot of drones, really fancy camera drones, um, and all these cameras and booms and microphone, electronic equipment, things, things I didn't understand at all. <laughs> so what about Adobe? What did o Adobe show you? Adobe that has its software, and it's, uh, you know, it's competitive in the video space uh, with uh, Final Cut Pro. Um, but Adobe is different in the sense that, you know, you, you have to subscribe, you have to pay every month. Adobe, you rather, Final Cut, you just buy it, that's it. Right. And what's interesting about the subscription is that they keep on updating it. So every time you look, there's another, like, behind-the-scenes update of, uh, say, Adobe Premiere, which seemed to me the, the more popular of the, two, of the two products. And when they update it, they put in new stuff. So it's always getting better. And I had the joy of talking with not, not an engineer, not a salesman, but a programmer who programs on Adobe, on Adobe Audition. And he was telling me well, there's some of the new fantastic things. For example, one of the real problems in broadcasting is the clipping. When you've taken the sound too high and it clips, you know, the, the waveform is uh, sort of squashed up against the top and it, it distorts the sound, okay? Nobody, everybody knows. I mean, I remember reading something as we, a sound man does that, He's fired. That's the, that's the end of it. It's so bad to have clipping. Well, Adobe Audition now has software that will fix the clipping. How do you like that? Identified and Save your job. It. Yeah. Wow. Okay, <laughs> so let's talk about new tech. We spend a lot of time with new tech. And new tech is the distributor of our very important TriCast. Yes, uh, we have not one but two TriCasters, a main and a backup. And uh, it's very interesting to see how popular TriCaster is. You know, it was one of those choices we made a couple of years ago about we'd go this way, go that way, what brand do you like? Uh, and we chose TriCaster, and I'm so happy we did that because, uh, you know, if you look last year at the 2016 NAB show and 2017 NAB show, you see that new tech is going great guns. They're all over the place, not only at their own exhibit space, but all over. The, everybody's using TriCaster. They're becoming coin of the realm. They're becoming the standard. So we made the right choice on that. I'm so happy about it. We also had the opportunity to meet with uh, Lisa and Kurt Wood, yeah. who are our resellers. resellers. Yeah, and they 
come out here all the time. Wise. They spend a lot of time in Hawaii. Uh, and they help us. They um, they help us on operating the system. They help us on learning and, for that matter, certifying our people um, to do it best. And uh, they're very friendly and helpful. And they introduced us to other experts, you know, in the new tech family there, who were answering our questions. Thing is, you know, you try to get somebody on, on technical support, and maybe it's in writing. It doesn't happen so fast, or it doesn't happen at all. But you're there at the NAB show. You got them, you, you grab them, you don't let go of them, and you make them answer all your questions. So that's the worth the price of eggs right there. You so know? did you have any new product? Did they have any new products that you liked? They, well, they had that a product we they, were, they were trying to, you know, trying to push to us, which is a product that goes on your cell phone. It's an app. And this app follows the live view kind of format so that you can go out with your cell phone and you can send video and audio back to a server, and then you can use that as a shot on your TriCaster. Now, this is Live View, though, not New Tech. New Tech. Oh. Wait, sorry. I'm talking uh, about Live View. Right. Live View has this product, right. but it integrates with the TriCaster. So you right. use them together, and you send the product back, and it's an app that sends it back to a server, and the server sends to your TriCaster. Result is you could have, what, three, remember, three or four three people. Three or four cell phones with, attached to, to the a one single Live View a uh, piece of equipment, yeah. and that becomes then four different cameras on one right. piece of equipment and allowing the uh, 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 B-roll and, and interviewing right. more than so, one so person. Right, so for example, there's a march uh, tomorrow, a march for peace, okay, big march, uh, I think it's in Waikiki, and, um, um, you know, if, if we wanted to cover it with this kind of technology, we'd send out three guys, unassuming, and girls, unassuming people, covering it, one from this side of the parade, one from that side, one from this side and that side, and they'd all have their cell phones. Everybody would say, oh, they're just taking pictures. They must be a bunch of tourists. Not true. They are actual videographers, right. and they're taking pictures that are being combined and coordinated for broadcast somewhere else. So this, and if you remember, there were like half a dozen that we touched there were dozens, actually, of shows all about how to do video, how to do movies on your iPhone. And there are movies um, that are coming out now. They're, you know, high-ranking movies. Exactly. Uh, Produced that entirely on the Entirely on iPhone. iPhone. Well. So, and broadcasting is going the same direction. So if you ask me, and I hope you do ask me, what's one of the big trends happening that we noticed at Deb Show? Well, what are some <laughs> of the big trends that we <laughs> noticed at the app? It's the iPhone. The uh -huh. iPhone is a broadcast tool. The iPhone is a movie making now, tool. Now, do you have an iPhone? No, I have a Samsung. <laughs> I have an Android, but it's the same thing. Okay. I mean, it's the so functionality is the a same. A smartphone. A smartphone. Okay. And and you can do amazing things. And now now you can broadcast. And people are making books and lectures, and they're trying to spread the good word about exactly how you do that, what kind of accessories you need. It's all happening right now. And you go to the NAB show, Carol. That's what you find out, what's happening right now, where right. the industry is going. So actually it was a, as a result of last year's visit to the NAB show that we actually acquired our Live View uh, piece of that's equipment, right. right? That's right. We went to the Live, the live View, which is an Israeli Exhibit. company. It's, it always displays in Central, <laughs> if you care about that. And uh, they, they showed it to us, and we came back, and we ultimately we got a grant from the Cook Foundation uh, in order to uh, actually get one. And we have one now. We use it at least twice a week uh, for our uh, Think, Think Tech, Tech on, on the, the street, street program, and it works well. Mm -hmm. And we told them that a couple days ago, and they were just delighted to hear it. Great. And let's see, one last, um, Black Magic. How about that? Well, Black Magic, uh, that's in um, South, South Hall. And it's just splendid, huge exhibit. huge exhibit. You walk in and it's like blows you away. It must, uh, it must be 20,000 feet also. It's like a football field of, of stuff. And we're talking about cameras. They make cameras, all kinds of cameras. They make switching equipment. They have software. Uh, they have little widget things that connect everything. I mean, it's like it's the, it's the toy store from one end to the other. And the, the display, as last year, was just phenomenal. They're really a going somewhere company. Okay, and so before we go for a break, how about live stream? I know we did stuff at the live stream. Yeah, live stream is, is our mm -hmm. uh, subscri subscription streaming service. So we broadcast. So it's actually a proper name, live stream, in addition to the. Uh, yeah, was one of uh, one of the v vendors said, "Why do they use that name? It's right. confusing because live stream is like also a, a verb, verb or a noun, is a, but it's also a company name, and it's our company." and they uh, help us stream. So right now, this program is going through our TriCaster, made by New Tech, right? And it's going, it's being broadcast to live stream, which is, you know, serving it out to the world. 
what's interesting is you can catch it, okay, on thinktechhawaii.com, where it's broadcasting right now, but you can also catch it live on livestream.com. Go either place. You can have a good time. Just go to the Think Tech channel on livestream.com. Okay. So before we go to break, I want to say that we will be showing some slides from the show, that, uh, from the NAB show in uh, Las Vegas. And uh, this is my guest, Jay Fidel, a media tech traveler. And uh, I'm Carol Mon Lee. We'll be right back. Aloha. My name is John Waihe'e. And I used to be a part of all the things that you might be angry at. I served in government here and may have made decisions that affects you. So I want to invite you in. I want to invite you in to Talk Story with me and some very special guests every other Monday here at Talk Story with John Wahee. Come on in, join us, express your opinion, learn more about your state, and then do something about it. Aloha. Welcome back. This is Kara Mon Lee in our special show, Think Tech Tech Talks. And we're talking about just being back from the 2017 NAB show. My guest is Jay Fidel. So it's Jay, great fun, Carol. Yes. We really and, have a good uh, We're going to show some great slides of what we saw at, uh, in Las Vegas over three, four days. Um, okay, so Jay is with okay. three These gentlemen. These are the live here. you guys. The guy in the middle is George Clapel. Uh, he's the guy. He's our representative there at uh, Live View. There's two guys on the right. Um, the, the fellow, uh, the third fellow, is the guy that originally sold us on the idea of getting a Live View LU 500. Uh, and the fellow to his right is another another representative of the company. Both of those guys are Israeli. Guess why? Because it's an Israeli company. Right. Okay. And the next photo. Is, oh, ah. you can always see her in, far away in, in the NAB show. That's Lisa Wood with the red hair. Uh, there was also another woman with red and hair. And that's her husband, Kurt Wood. And the two of them are our, um, their company is called ComputerWise. And they um, sold us the TriCaster and they stay in touch with us and they come to Hawaii regularly and we expect to see them this May and yeah. hopefully in October. Yeah. Oh, we have a caller. Let's hear what our caller has to say. Hi, I do have a question. With all of this new technology coming our way, what, how do you see it impacting Hawaii news and Hawaii programs? And what do you think it will benefit? How will it benefit Hawaii residents? Okay, so uh, thank you very much for that call. Did you hear the call, Jay? I did, but uh, you'll have to interpret it for yeah, me. Yeah, I think the call uh, just basically asked, how can we um, benefit in Hawaii from all that you saw at the NAB uh, show? And thank you, that's a that's a really question. It's a provocative question in the right. sense that uh, we went there and we saw some the panel discussions and the like of these young people who were trying to make a living in video, in editing video, and in um, you know doing engineering on video all around the country and the world. And the one thing that struck me, well, two things. One is, you know, Hawaii could do this because now with broadband, you know, you can you can emanate content anywhere, and and companies and and all these professionals are emanating content from everywhere. We're not. We're not. Except Think Tech, as far as I know. Um, two is, um, you know, uh, you can get a job and you can do editing and you can be part of the industry from anywhere in the world. And I'm sorry, we're not. <laughs> um, so, it's, it, and these are good jobs. They're high-paying jobs on the mainland for the, you know, the big companies, for the capital concentrations. Hawaii should become a center, and we'd be happy to, to help anybody who wants to get into it, um, should become a center of developing content on the web, because it's the future, very clear from NAB Show. It's not only the NBC and the ABC and the CBS, it's people who are broadcasting on the internet just like us, and there's an industry emerging now, and Hawaii should have a part of that. So this is a really good place to learn how it works. And if you're interested in learning how it works, you should go to the NAB show next year, mm -hmm. and it'll be in April next year again in Las Vegas. In the meantime, you can go in June, you can go to Shanghai. Right. And in September, you can go to the Jacob Javits Center in Manhattan at the southwest corner of Central Park. You can go to that NAB, sh NAB show there. So they have at least three shows at a least, year yeah. all around the world. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So anyway, I hope that answers the question, but I, yeah. but I feel that Hawaii should be more interested in this than it is. But I'll tell you one thing, we're interested. Right. <laughs> so you're distinguishing between the content, which we, Think Tech Hawaii, produces a lot of, and 
see the future of here in Hawaii because we have so much, whether it's our location, our, our interests, our just natural curiosity about um, the world that we could develop content versus... But we can stream it too. We can stream we, we can, it. We, we could have an engineering structure here. Mm -hmm. we, we may need better broadband, but uh, Hawaiian Telecom is supposed to be working on that. Uh, faster broadband to stream to the world. We could be a center of streaming high quality content, Asia Pacific content to the world here in Hawaii. But what, what part of that is going to have to be by acquiring more expensive equipment and technology, which right now is a limitation in yeah. Hawaii. Yeah, well, you know, yeah. some capital-rich company, investors can set things up like that, and they can buy the equipment. I'll be happy to show them what to buy. <laughs> and and um, they can make Hawaii into a broadcast center. We have the content. Have you ever read the book called Pacific by uh, Simon Winchester out of the East-West Center? And he talks about, you know, uh, iconic things that have happened in the Pacific area uh, that make it what it is today in all areas. I mean, go all the way from climate change to nuclear bombs in, in the uh, Bikini Atoll. And, and what's, what's interesting is that Hawaii and the Pacific in general have so many different strains of history and politics and, I mean, of social change. It's all here. We could be the center. We could be the intellectual center of the Pacific Rim and also the world, we can generate content that would be interesting everywhere. You know that's true. I know you know. <laughs> <laughs> How long do you think that's going to take? Uh, okay. Let's take another call. All right. No. <laughs> All right. Well, tell us a little. Let's see. Do we have a few more slides, Ian? Okay. This is a picture of the TriCaster. TC1. Oh, that's their new machine. The TCI, TC1 rather, just came out uh, as a month or two ago. It's the one that's the, it's better than anything they, they've put out before. It's their latest statement of the technology. What does Very 4K promising. mean? Say it again? You see the 4K? Oh, 4K. Well, that's the 4K is the size of number of pixels on the new protocols for the new video. We don't have 4K, but 4K is beginning, becoming popular on the mainland for television and for internet uh, broadcast. 4K is the, the best that people can offer right now. Okay, and this is a slide of one of the sessions I attended on po podcast. Very, very interesting. Uh, and as our viewers know, we have a podcast station, I guess that's the right word. Mm -hmm. And um, well, I've been listening have, to it. We have it a, pod a podcast account on iTunes, <laughs> and <laughs> right. all our stuff, including this show, is, is going to be, be on podcast. iTunes. Yeah, and so. that's definitely the wave of the future, too, if we're not yes. using it. So let's talk about some of the sessions that we attended. Oh, yeah, well, you went to the podcast one, and I went to some comparable one, and we, we were trying to get as much as we could. Uh, I went to a number of sessions about Adobe products, and about uh, programming, um, you know, and editing video uh, in various capacities, not only video, but sound. And there were a lot of sessions on exactly how you structure the content, how you tell the story, uh, how, you put it, how you put it all together. Um, the last were, one we went to, which I really liked, was the one on light. You know, we talk about sound, we talk about pictures, yeah, visuals, light. but the lighting is so critical. Eduardo. Angel. Angel. Mm -hmm. He was so prolific, so smart. Somewhere from South America, I think. Yes. But it but, and shows you the experts are from everywhere. They're not just from the U.S. Um, he has written. He's on lynda.com. He's, uh, he's got his own page on B&A Photo, B&H Photo. Uh, remarkable how much he knows. And, um, and what an open teacher is, you know, a, a, a natural teacher telling us about how you find, you know, innovation, how you find total creativity in using light. And, and the takeaway from that talk, which I've, remember today is don't worry about the equipment and be innovative be creative there's nothing there's no wrong here there's no right it's just what what works in a circumstance and that's the story of light <laughs> exactly so that an expensive piece of equipment may not be any better than an old light bulb with a screen you know a filter a rag in front of it to diffuse the light yeah. right yeah and yeah. he does that he does that. and he achieves amazing results and not only that but he's telling us about historically some of the great film producers citizen of the Kane. citizen Kane, what a, oh, that was amazing, that discussion. It was. Uh, so if any of our viewers are curious about light, check out an old copy of the movie Citizen Kane with Aura, Orson Welles, right? Yeah. And the use of light and how um, he uses it to create in, in, incredible drama 
um, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to explain without seeing it, but it's visually so impactful. Would, and check out Eduardo uh, Angel. Eduardo Google Angel. him and you'll get a whole page of hits. Uh, he's, he's really a very, very good guy, and he's writing and thinking and, and sharing uh, all about light, and light is important. We could use some of his advice right here. Right. Uh, what about Skype? We have a short little, can you say anything about Skype? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, we learned a lot about <laughs> Skype on this trip. We had multiple efforts to do Skype shows, uh, not so easy, but we learned how to do it. We have a template now, and our plan is to use Skype shows with the phone because there were many, many, you know, uh, breakout sessions on using iPhones and Androids in order to produce um, Skype shows. Right. Um, so uh, I think, you know, we learned a lot. We learned enough to do this uh, on the fly. Right. You could carry all you need in, in one pocket, a right. little that much and you could create a show high quality good video good sound using this little pocket f full of gear and, and they were talking about what you needed in the little pocket but I th we know now how to do that we're going to do that you'll see okay and i'm going to give you a minute and a half to do your commentary that you wanted to do I, I talked to my brother this morning he told me he doesn't watch television anymore um, I said, why? Why did you know? Why you know? Well, you know, it was the election and they lost confidence in the news media that uh, that gave Trump too much time, too much space because people were interested in Trump and they were pandering to that interest. And then they miscalled the election too. So the whole thing was really not the best moment the press and especially television has ever had. And, I, and a lot of people are really turned off on television. They're turned off on the quality of the news content that comes over. The New York Times is so much better if you care to read. Um, and, and turned off on the, on the commercials, which seem to be growing because there's no regulation that says, you know, that you have to hold down the, the number of minutes that you are broadcasting these commercials about various drugs that you don't know anything about with all the warnings, you know. All the drug ads come on and then this lawyer comes on and says, if you've been taking that drug, call me. <laughs> it's, like, it's really weird. The point is that television is turning into questionable news, okay, and then drug ads. And, and, <laughs> and it's really impossible to watch. I mean, I have trouble watching this stuff, too. And you say, well, we got great technology. we got great capital concentrations who do affect public opinion, sometimes right, sometimes wrong, all over the world, and that entertain people and engage them all over the world. I mean, there's televisions on, and, and, the, and your, your, your remote phone, and, and they're everywhere. And people are, you know, like connected that way. Um, before you even get to social media, it's just television broadcasting at you. So my rant is that, you know, it's big money. All this is big money. You can see that at the NAB show. It's huge big money. Um, they, these companies are making money hand over fist. And these careers are really doing great guns for the people who try to aspire to be executives and producers and engineers and editors and whatnot. But the reality is that the, the content needs work. There should be better content serving the American people, serving people everywhere. And my problem is I think that it's all in the te technology, it's all in the production skills, it's all in the money and making a return on investment, um, but it's not in the content. And we ought to pay more attention to that. And the guy, are they listening? The guys who control the content they're not bellying up to what the people really need for a better life and a better world and a better country and a better democracy. It's not just the NAB show. It's the guys who do the content. I hope they hear what I'm saying. So is that your takeaway then for the NAB? That's my argument. rant and my takeaway. And it's a little more advanced than it was last year. Okay, right. So you want to help me say goodbye to our audience and wrap this up? Yeah. Um, you know, Carol and I go to the show and it's, uh, it's magnetic. Um, and we find uh, there's a lot of Hawaii people there. We met several Hawaii people. We'd like to see more Hawaii people there. We think that uh, Hawaii should be connected, just as a caller suggested in that question, and that we should learn about this and do this and, and have our own, our own broadcast system emanating from the state of Hawaii. We ought to look for the kind of content that I was talking about, and I think we can and do that. We can and should do that. Uh, we have the culture. We have the knowledge. We have the diversity. Um, let's give us ourselves and elsewhere good content from Hawaii. All right. And on that note, we'll say aloha on behalf of Jay and Carol from the 2017 NAB Show visit, and we'll see you next time. Aloha.